Hello and welcome to Four with Phil, Episode 9, The Man Who Tolerated Power Glide. Uh, hi folks, Phil from ASM here. Uh, got a little different video set up. We'll see how it works. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the new Combiner Wars Legends class Power Glide figure, but first I uh, just want to say they just announced that Humble Bundle is doing a Transformers comic book bundle. Uh, all proceeds go to Hasbro Children's Foundation, a great charity. Uh, I've supported it many times in the past. I hope you support it too. Uh, basically, it's one of those things where you pay what you want. Uh, the more you pay, the, though, the more you get. And as I record this, if you pay $11.70, you can unlock the equivalent of 86 comics. That's 13.6 cents per issue. And it's all digital, no digital rights management, no DRM, no copy protection. It's all for you. $11.70. All the proceeds go to Hasbro Children's Foundation. I can't think of a better way to spend $11.70. 86 comics. Uh, it's a good deal. Check it out. Humble Bumble, excuse me, humblebundlebooks.com slash uh, books or humblebundle.com slash books. It's one of those two links. I'll put a link in the show notes for this. Uh, as I said, this is the episode, The Man Who Tolerated Power Glide, the Combiner Wars Power Glide figure. Uh, I saw it hanging on the shelves, and I thought, you know what, I want to experience some of the Combiner Wars uh, figures, so I picked it up, fully expecting to love it. Uh, it. Robot mode looks great, and then I transformed it into jet mode, and it was absolutely horrible. I, you know, The tolerances on my particular copy are absolute crap. It doesn't stay together in vehicle mold. I mean, some people have had good experiences with it. I've had one of the worst. You can't even set it down without it springing apart again. It's very, very frustrating to have a figure that you pay a good money for, $10 for a target, and it just falls apart. Uh, yeah, the robot mode looks great. It, it's a very great update of the character. Uh, probably a better likeness than the universe one. Uh, I really like the uh, Cyberverse one that came out a few years ago with Dark of the Moon. Uh, but this one, I just cannot recommend it. Uh, if you luck out and get a good copy, maybe. But no, it's it's not a good figure in my opinion. The robot mode, I mean, that's great. It, you can pose him. Uh, you can uh, stand him up in a diorama, I suppose. But... If you want to put them in jet mode, play mode, whatever you want to call it, be prepared for disappointment. It, I, I cannot recommend this figure. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Um, uh, today we saw new Transformers comics, both More Than Meets the Eye and the former Robots in Disguise, both issue number 38. Uh, Transformers, uh, the complete All Spark Almanac came out. Uh, I've been itching to get my hands on that. Uh, I've got the previous two volumes, but it'll be good to have the everything in a collected edition. Uh, Nick Roche, uh, his Monster Motors, uh, a new comic comes out today. Uh, they had a one shot in July of last year. Go pick that up. And uh, Transformers Primacy, uh, the collected edition came out today. So. Got a good selection of comics waiting for you at the comic book store or Comixology or digital download platform of your choice. Uh, if you want to, you can leave a comment on the YouTube video here, on the uh, show notes page on asmzine.com, or you can send me an email at 4wp at asmzine.com, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.